When you're looking at the right type of window to use, what's really important to think about is who and whom are going to be using the windows. If you've got a situation where maybe somebody has some physical challenges, whether it's a mobility challenge or they need to operate the window from a seated position, maybe they have a, a wheelchair, a great choice is actually a casement window. The reason for that is with a casement window, the operator, the crank, is at the bottom of the window. That's the good news of that window. The, maybe the challenge of that window in some cases too is that if you have young children and it's on a second level, you may be worried about their ability to crank that window out. So with every window type, I think often what you need to look at is who's living in the house? What would be the best choice of windows for everyone living in that house? And what matches well with the budget? If you're in a family room, for instance, and you want a large view to the outside, obviously one option is a picture window. You may say, I want to get some airflow in here, yet also have the view. So you might take the picture window and you might flank it, or on the sides of it, you might use a casement window, which is a crank out window that provides some air, provides actually maximum airflow. So now you're getting the expansive view and you're getting airflow. Moving on to some other rooms in the house, a kitchen, providing windows in a kitchen is extremely important because you really want to be able to see and you want the sunlight coming in in the morning when you're having breakfast or having your meals in there. You'll see a lot of double hung windows in there. What a double hung window is, it's the window that goes up and down. Going on to some other popular rooms in the house, the bedrooms are obviously a very, very popular area. For cost effectiveness, probably the number one most popular vinyl window is the double hung window. If you have windows that are more horizontal in design and you're looking to replace them, the slider window, which the windows go back and forth this way, again they're horizontal in design, are a cost effective way to get some airflow in and to replace maybe a window that is leaking or is rotten or is rusted. If you're looking for something that's a little more decorative, a little bit fancier, for a room. The bay and bow windows are the two different types of windows that provide very much an interesting architectural look and yet some additional function. The bay and bow windows are a series of windows that either fan out and some of them even actually have a seat where you can sit inside of them. You can you know, choose styles of bay and bow windows that have different wood grain finishes, different colors in them. So again, you can match up the interior style of the window to the interior style of your decor. So again, there's a lot of flexibility with vinyl replacement windows. With any choice of a window, I think it's similar to like the choice of a car. It's not a one size fits all proposition. I think you have to look at what's your budget, what type of windows do you have? What do the existing openings look like? What does the home look like? You know, what can I do to match the home? So, you know, choosing whether it's a vinyl replacement window, a wood replacement window, an acrylic glass block, an acrylic block window, or a glass block window, any of these replacement window types, you've got to look at what's the needs, what benefits do I, do I need to achieve, what problems do I want to get rid of, and make the best selection for you.